This area, that one area, we call it Kapar area. Then we go to Maripay area where the harvest.
Nagbala ka sa kyon, nalpas. Isang pa Ya, 
What did you do practically today? Can you explain us from the start on the cages until the, the leaving of the fish on the boat? Every step of the, the operation. Okay. Start. So today we harvest uh, 15,000 kilos of pangos in two different cages. Uh, as you seen in the harvest, uh, first you see in the cage and we have uh, nets and we have a people we catch it using our harvesting nets uh, just like scooping then scooping after nets. scooping scooping nets. Uh, the yeah. scoop fish will put in the killing box like like the box that is in the harvest with ice and it puts some ice uh, at this the uh, cold must be 4 degrees Celsius and after the, the chilling process uh, uh, it, it put to uh, a man, a group of men which uh, they sort they sort uh, different sizes of pangus so it, it have uh, 14 classes so each classes uh, average for 50 grammers or 100 grammers depends on the size of the, the fish after the sorting process We, we weigh it at 25 kilos uh, uh, in every tub, then we wash it, so, uh, uh, then uh, we put, it, uh, we, Transfer the uh, we put ice, uh, we have uh, three, three layers, we have the in tubs, we have in the bottom, bottom then, then a fish, then ice another and ice. Then another fish, then other ice. Much. Then after that, we put in the boat. boat. Then boat will travel the the harvested in Katubig area or the fish landing landing area, which our truck uh, waiting. Then uh, it will come uh, out. We put, pilot. put it there, and then let's go to the market. A uh, market is. Sometimes Malabon, Dagupan, and Fisher Plan. It depends on my boss. And so are you one of the, your group of 60 cages is very significant. It's almost 10%. Yes. It's almost 10% like of the total number of cages in, uh, in Anda. So is it the main uh, production company? The, are you, uh, is your company the main operator, operator in Anda or is it a bigger one? No, uh, we have different operator here in Anda and Bolinao area. Uh, we have you know, Garcia, Garcia and uh, a family business. Rarang, family yeah. business about operator Big Bangus. And we, the Fisherman's Aqua Resources. And. What is that? We have a big BCB, uh, Nabel. PCP and we have the Sahara, different types of operator. Yes. Yeah. And the first fish kill, I think, as far as I remember, occurred in 1997. And periodically, not every year, but you have massive fish kill. And um, that was monitored all together by BIFAR and by the yes, yes. Uh, UPMSI. Yes. And um, recommendations were done and followed by the, the private sector and the number of cages was reduced to, to reduce actually the impact of, 
of pollution, uh, of organic pollution, and of course the, to reduce the occurrence of fish kill. When was the, the last fish kill you had to uh, suffer yourself we, on your own cages? As we said, as, uh, we have a patches of months. Uh, uh, we have uh, last we have uh, December. Ah, yes. 2014. Uh, 2000. November by month of October, November. And how, how, what percentage of you, uh, you uh, uh, raised upper, population was killed? Not, not much, much massive, it's uh, almost 3%, uh, not oh, much less. That's not, not, so, not so important. It was not really a massive fish kill. Yeah, but, but it, 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 it sometimes uh, it's a sign. Yes. It's a sign for maybe a big problem. Yeah, yeah. So we get uh, uh, what call this. We uh, have a plans to, yeah. to prevent maybe harvest. But what I, what I, what I see because I've been in the Philippines for a while, what I see now is that there is a close relationship between the the, the municipality and the and uh, fisheries officer in the municipality, the agriculture officer and his office in the municipality. Yes, sir. You represent mm -hmm. uh, Nelson and, uh, and uh, the private sector. Yes. To reduce that occurrence, to, to, there is a lot of, I think that you, you in, in, close, uh, in close contact to, to avoid that sort of problem and to reduce the occurrence of the fish kill. So uh, I think that now the municipality is a major, uh, the work of the municipality yes. is a major influence on the, the monitoring of the environment and on the, the reduction of the, health, of the risk okay, yes. for the farmers. What, what would you say about that? What are you doing yourself? Nelson well, uh, about that. <laughs> uh, based on the, what, uh, what I see, um, uh, we are living mutualism. Mm -hmm. we, uh, this day, they invest in our place, in our municipality. They pay for the permit, everything. And also, they, we help them in monitoring the, the water quality. But if, if uh, so the, uh, what I've said, if this day, that's good for us to invest in our place. So and and uh, are you working also in the municipality more, more, more than you on, on the, 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 the private sector? Are you also working with the laboratory of UPMSI here in Bolivia? Um, not actually working, but they, they feed us the results ah, yes. Yes. The, based on their uh, observations. So that what we saw this morning is the catch yes. from two different cages yes. of 15 metric ton of fish which will be transported to which market? Uh, it, it, our market is in Pulilan, uh, the fisher farm. Yes. And we have the Malabon yes. in Manila. Yes. That's our market for today. For but, today. But for tomorrow, if there's an adjustment, we have a market in Magupan and some part of here in Pampanga and the small one. That's very exciting. So Malabon, uh, it's interesting for uh, my friends to know that Malabon is probably the main fish market in the Philippines. It's in the main fish market in Manila. So uh, uh, obviously the fish you are producing here in Bolinao and Anda, <coughs> where uh, there is maybe uh, all in all more than 1,000 uh, fish cages and uh, fish pens between the two municipalities, most of the fish uh, is supplying big cities uh, uh, in the Philippines. One thing uh, which was uh, interesting that we, we noticed uh, year, years ago is that there's two small municipalities of Bolinao and Anda uh, accounted for as much as uh, 40,000 metric tons of fish per year supplied to the main markets in the Philippines which is uh, almost equal to the fish, fish uh, farming production in the whole of France. Wow. So, you know, it's very, it's very, very useful to see that. And to see that you, you are having that uh, floating platform yes. where you, you're working in a very modern way.
<laughs> because uh, I was working, I, I have been working or visited uh, many industrial farms in Israel actually, and uh, they also use that system of killing tank mm -hmm. with very cold water. But you, you're there in the middle right. of the. Yes. In the middle of the, the, the Gulf of Lingayen, yeah. but you have also that very modern and very efficient technique to make the fish handleable. Because if you, if you have a fish jumping on the table, you cannot. Uh, it's very, very complicated to, to classify them, it's very difficult to weight them, it, uh, mm. so you have to make them quite very quickly. To me, it's very nice, the people can understand, they will see wonderful. Uh, a wonderful harvest. Okay, even me. Yeah, uh, even I'm familiar you, with the animal, but yeah. it's amazing to watch. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh,